What is going on you guys? This is Kevin, Full Metal Ginger, and it's good to see you. Uh, I really didn't mean to take this long of a break. Um, between work being as crazy as it is, and then coming home and trying to figure out all this online school stuff uh, for my kid, it's just, it's been hectic for me right now, so I've uh, really not had a lot of time to, you know, sit down and thoroughly listen to music, do the prep work for it, record the video, upload it, all that kind of stuff. It's just been having to take a back seat, you know, as of late, so that's why I've been gone for, I mean, what's the last time I recorded? Four, I want to say four weeks ago, as I'm recording this, maybe five. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I at least wanted to give you something to hold you over until I can, until things settle down for me and I can kind of get back into routine here. I mean... Uh, so I figured I'd give you a channel update. Uh, I've got an unboxing to do for you real quick, so shouldn't be too terribly a long video. Too terribly of a long video? Eh, however you say it. Uh, but channel update, I mean, that's basically where I've been. Um, still absolutely planning to do CD, tape, record reviews. I mean, I've got so much stuff right now, it's, it's falling out of my ass at this point. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm getting overloaded. Uh, and if I get any more stuff, it's just... You know, some of this stuff's never going to see the light of day on this channel. Uh, I can already tell you some things on here that I've, I forgot I've had. I mean, it's just been so long since I've got it in. And I, it's been that long since I've even listened to it. So I'm really trying to get caught up with this stuff. Uh, I've got a list set aside to let me know what I haven't talked about. So, yeah, I mean, uh, we're talking reviews from uh, Men and Warfer, who I have talked about before. Uh, i got a more in-depth uh, review for Dodsford coming some more razor, uh, some visceral mass, uh, internal rot, funeralopolis, uh, leprophiliac. That's just off the top of my head. I mean, there's tons more in here we can talk about, so that's not changing. Uh, that should be coming. To, I mean, yeah, that, that's going to be my standard always on the channel, as, as you know, it's always been. So aside from that, um, I've had a few ideas that I've been thinking about, uh, at least trying to get somewhere with it. So, um, I don't know how you'd feel about it, but, you know, some of the things I experimented with in the early days of the channel, I like to revisit and at least, you know, kind of tweak it out a little bit more and make it better. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing some more fire pit videos, uh, especially now that it's getting into cooler weather. It's almost fall, uh, so that'd be kind of something fun to do. I don't know where I'd go with that. And uh, something is telling me to do a review or something out in the woods you know the woods is where I'm happiest and uh, I don't know I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what I could do in there but I'm something something may happen up in the woods here soon so that's basically my channel update I know that's kind of lame but I wanted to give you something to let you know that I'm not dead you know I haven't gone anywhere it's just things have been crazy and uh yeah we're gonna come back so that said let's do an unboxing real quick um, so I got this sentence box set from a uh, Miami metal merchant who I've ordered from uh, quite a few times I'll leave you a link down below if you haven't heard of them uh, Jason who runs this distro is uh, amazing he's uh, really been good for me because you know if you're like me and you have quite a few holes you know in terms of classics in your collection nine times out of ten he's got what you're looking for so uh, it's been a blast to, I, I mean I've ordered all kinds of stuff from him so uh, he had this uh, box set from Sennets uh, come up, and I was like, yeah, I want to get that. Vlogger um, Records put it out, I believe, this year. And uh, absolutely, just it was, something was calling me to grab this. I'm not usually big on box sets. I like to get things individually, but this thing just seems so nice that I just I had to fucking have it. So we'll unbox this real quick. Um, so I think, uh, I guess I could mention that we're listening to Sennets right now. Um, Shadows of the Past. I can never remember that. I think the one everyone's most familiar with. Sentence being a band that I've not listened to a crap ton. I mean, this is the one that I've listened to more times than not. Uh, I've listened to a muck. Is it a muck? Whatever it's called. A few times. Uh, not too much. I've just not really delved too much into their discography. Um, but it's just, you know, kind of one of those things for me. And uh, that was kind of part of the reason to kind of get this box set it just looked really fucking cool so let's check it out and um i've actually kind of pulled some of the uh, uh opened it partially to get some of the packing out of it because 
I don't, I'm mentioning this just because Jason does a really good job with his packaging. He always takes care of me and uh, never wants to send me anything broken. And uh, on top of all the crap that was in the box, it's very well wrapped. So uh, let's see if I can get this thing open. That's the thing with these unboxing videos. I kind of don't know what to talk about. You know? <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to unwrap some of the stuff. If you've not uh, figured it out by now, I'm just not really the most social type of person in the world. Um, but yeah, oh man, this is fucking amazing. So this is a tape box set, I forgot to mention. Um, I thought it had a name. Um, Death Comes as a Relief from the Mortal, I want to say. Something like that. This is really, really nice. Um, very, very sturdy. Uh, I guess it's some kind of, it's like a shoebox, basically. Uh, almost feels metal, but it's not. I can tell it's not, but I don't know. It's just... Uh, it's really really nice if you can't figure that out already so there you go and uh on the side you got everything that's in it so you've got uh the first three full links plus their early demos so that was a really cool thing to have and i was like that will make it even more you know as a person who's not really listened to sentence the whole lot this is uh something really cool to have so i can really delve into their early work you know and some of the stuff i know i would have never found otherwise so let's open it up and check it out so uh, this one comes with uh, all kinds of stuff actually. So you've got all these patches. I'll show you that first. Get this one. And usually, um, like I said, I'm not big on box sets, but when I get stuff like this, a lot of times I want to kind of you know keep it all with the set. But I was actually thinking, you know, debating on whether or not to even keep them in here or maybe put them on one of my vests. But we'll figure that out as time goes. Really, really nice patches. That's fucking awesome. Um, got some postcards in here. These are definitely going to stay in the box for sure. And you got the sentence logo on the back. So, uh, like I was saying, Flogger Records uh, put this out. And uh, one of my favorite labels for sure. Uh, they are always putting out, especially reissues of really, really good albums. And, um, I mean, if you go through my tape collection, I have a, quite a few uh, reissues out on Flogger Records. And um, they're just always putting out good stuff, or at least reissuing good stuff. And the only reason I don't order from them directly is because they're from Greece. And I'm just like, I'm not paying those outrageous you know, European shipping costs if I can get away with it. So uh, Jason at Miami Metal Merchant definitely helped out with this because he uh, picked these up from them directly, I think. Uh, so there's that. It comes with this uh, booklet, which is really cool. And I guess it's got, you know, band history and stuff in here. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Well, you got song titles and, uh, not song titles, the lyrics and stuff. I mean, I guess I could show it to you. So I haven't seen the booklet yet, so this has been really, really cool. Flyers and stuff. Yeah, awesome stuff. Highly recommend this, by the way, and I'm only this deep into it. We still got more stuff to come. So there's that. Uh, then we've got this, uh, oh, couple posters, actually. So we can get these unfolded, check these out. By God, yes, sir. There's that one. Did I mentioned that's what we're listening to. I, I hope to God I did. And uh, this one is really cool. Probably my favorite, honestly. And this one almost is going to have to get framed to get put up. And I know I've seen this one, this uh, flyer from this show, a hundred thousand times. You got the amorphous uh, demigod. Uh, Impel Nazarene, Beharit, Belial, and Sentence Show from, uh, shit, what was this? I don't know. It was from somewhere at some time. Uh, but yeah, that one's almost certainly going to have to get uh, framed and put up if I can even find a room in here for it. Alright, oh, yeah, forgot about this one also. There's the guitar pick in here of the band. Yes, sir. All right, now for the good stuff, the important stuff anyway. Let's go with the music. So here's how it's laid out. So like I said, you got the first three full links. You've got uh, uh, Shadows of the Past, uh, North From Here, and Amok, or Amok, or however you fucking say it. And um, let's see if I can get these pulled out. And below that we have their, I, I think it's their first, I guess it's their first demos, their earliest demos. I don't really remember. And like I said, I've not listened to a butt-ton of sentenced, 
I mean, it's really been, you know, Shadows of the Past and not much else. Um, but that's about as far as my, you know, knowledge of them really goes. I'm not saying that, you know, it's uh, as a bad thing. Like, you know, I definitely know I should have checked out all their other stuff. It's just, you know, I never got around to it, really. Uh, but, yeah, here's the demos. So we have uh, When Death Joins Us. Uh, Rotting Ways to Misery and this promo tape, or says promo tape, uh, Journey to something. This one I wasn't familiar with at all. I mean, I at least heard of the other two, but this one I was like, I don't remember even kind of coming uh, into contact with that one at all. Uh, but yeah, really, really stoked on this. I mean, just, it's one of those things that I, I knew of, especially for the demos, I knew I was never going to get around to them, and picking them up and finding them and everything, so, uh, yeah, this is really cool, and I know I've listened to North From Here at least once or twice, Amok is, or Amok, whatever, basically the same thing, um, but like I was saying, you know, largely uh, Shadows of the Past is the one I was the most familiar with, and uh, could at least say something about, so, in terms of sentence, you know, awesome finished death metal, and I just kind of really hadn't uh, expanded beyond this, uh, for the most part, and, uh, I don't know what it is about the finished death stuff. I've, I've heard a lot of newer stuff, but not uh, a crap ton of the old stuff. And it's, you know, I mean, you, you've got your classic bands, you know, Sinist and um, uh, Convulse, uh, Demolish, stuff like that. But beyond that, not really much else. So, I mean, this is kind of me kind of trying to delve into it a little bit more. So, there's this uh, extremely nice box set. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jason still has some available. Like I said, I'll leave links below, or uh, you can always check out Flogger Records. I'm going to assume they're still going to have it for a while at least. Um, they've been putting out quite a few box sets lately. I think they got a Sodom one out now. I think Flogger put that one out. And I'm um, 99% sure they put out the uh, Celtic Frost one. And uh, Jason might have that one as well. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, awesome box set. Uh, super stoked to have this. I don't even know where this is going to go it's going to go in here somewhere and it's going to be a uh, really really nice addition to the whole collection so hell yeah and uh just as a bonus i wasn't planning on talking about this one but this this came in today and it's you guys know how big of a fan of this band i am and i was like i have to show this um so i picked this up uh this one dropped i think uh in 2018 and uh was i saw it pop up just randomly i was like yeah i gotta get this uh, we have the 70s tapes from Angel Witch. Um, yeah, awesome shit, man. Uh, so this is basically uh, uh, a collection of their uh, some songs off their first two demos from uh, 1978 and 9, I believe. Uh, some of these songs would end up on uh, the uh, debut full-length Angel Witch, uh, the self-titled full-length, and uh, <clears throat> I don't need to tell you guys how much of a fan of that album I am. I mean, it's got to be, <coughs> you know... Uh, a top 10 all-time favorite albums for me so uh this was a really cool one to have in terms of that for sure i mean just loving that album so much and knowing that you know you got some uh, earlier versions of those songs on here i mean you got uh white witch on here uh there's sorcerer is it sorcerer or sorcerers whatever it is on uh the self-titled angel witch uh on here it's called the sorceress and there's also uh devil's tower which appears on that album as well so just some earlier material from uh, Angel Witch. I mean, if you think it would sound really rough, it's not. Uh, I mean, it does come from demos, but I mean, this stuff is not really bad sounding at all. Um, it's really kind of like a pre-production album, pretty much. Um, so there's absolutely nothing that comes with this. There is a... Um, shit. The uh, digital copy, if you guys want this. Uh, so yeah, first come, first serve. I'll put this up right now. So, you redeem that code at Bandcamp if you want. It's all yours. I never use these, so you got it. All right, there you go. And uh, so it's just this and the record. That's all there is to it. I can show you that real quick. Really nice uh, gray and black vinyl. Well, gray with uh, well silver, I guess. Silver with splatter vinyl. Silver with black splatter vinyl. There we go. So it's. <laughs> I never get through a video without stuttering at some point, so I guess you know some things never change. Uh, yeah, I was really happy to get this one to come in. Um, I think um, all the proceeds from this uh, this album went to uh, not album, but this uh, compilation went to the uh, 
what was it, that tower fire in London? I've never even heard about that happening. I don't watch the news. I don't care what's going on in the world, really. I try not to because all it does is piss me off. But supposedly that's where all the proceeds for this went. And uh, this was just, for me, a really cool thing to have. Uh, really trying to get back to getting as much Angel Witch as I can. Uh, but yeah, uh, huge fan of this band. I don't need to tell you that. Uh, like I was saying, the debut self-titled full length is easily one of my favorite albums of all time. I mean, in any genre of music, I absolutely love that album. So, yeah, here's some stuff for you. Uh, wanted to give you something to tide you over till I can get back to reviews. Uh, I may have said it last time, but I'm definitely going to talk about uh, those uh, Men and Warfare and Dodsford albums that I really need to get caught up on. Plenty of those to do. Um, almost done with the uh, Razor collection, by the way. Uh, the full-length collection, anyway. Just need uh, one more. Uh, Custom Killing. So once I get that one, we'll might have to do a whole big razor thing um yeah uh, i've got all kinds of orders coming in uh plenty of stuff in here to talk about there is a list that's you know, trying to uh, i have to write everything down when i get it just to make sure i can keep up with what i have and haven't talked about so uh it's coming uh so thank you i hope you enjoyed this i mean this is really for me to try to get some kind of content out there and Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, this will tide you over till I can get back to being more consistent. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, check the links below if you're interested in the uh, sentence box set. Uh, check out Miami Metal Merchant. Jason is fucking amazing, great dude, and uh, always takes care of me. Always has these classics that I need to fill up my collection with that I've been looking for. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you when I see you. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Take it easy. Cheers.